apologize. So Matt was a little busy when I was not here. He's been uh, a free man for the past couple days, so he's been out here tinkering nonstop. So now that we have everything kind of braced in the B pillar, we're going to try and work on this back here because it's super floppy. Matt took the foam and all the fake leather out that was in here. So first things first, we're going to run a piece of box tubing across the back here. And I uh, believe we're going to tie into these anchor points, help strengthen everything. And then we're pretty much going to work our way down and forward from that point. So we're going to have a bunch of stuff to remove and cut out that's not really needed anymore, like our uh, mounts that were for the top. That's all coming out, stuff like that. So got some cutting to do, and we'll work on forming this bar. We're going to run it all the way down across the front, correct? Uh, we're going to at least run it to here, I think. Um, in here, I don't know if we're going to need to or not. It is quite strong. Yeah, so we'll, but the big thing is back here, it's actually split and, and buckling in the back section here from not having any bracing, and the wood had broken underneath it here. So we're going to, you know, we need to get that taken care of, and then underneath all this stuff we're going to have to address as well. So. Yeah, we'll take some photos and drop it in. Everything from, like, the bottom of the hinge down is absolutely... Uh, Rotted away. <laughs> Trash. Whatever's not rotted has fiberglass on top of it. So needs to go. Needs to go. So we'll bring the camera over, get some photos of all this good stuff, and we'll go from there. Good stuff, right, Matt? Yeah, there's uh, a little bit of fiberglass. Not a whole lot of metal. Holy shit. Just build it out of fiberglass. Yeah, that might need a patch. Or two. <laughs> or three or four. Yeah, that whole side's out with very minimal tools. It's like working on the Sweetheart Roadster all over again. Yeah. Screwdriver and brute force. I haven't found any asbestos yet. Okay, so we're trying to figure out how to bend all this. So the first problem is, is that it bends up here and then it starts going around. So we're going to try and get this bent up first, get that kind of set where it needs to be. So we basically measured uh, right to about where it starts to go uphill, which is around 14 inches. Um, and we're going to you know, start our bend right around there. And then the other thing I did is I took my angle finder, put it on about the steepest part of the bend, and it's at about... 45 degrees, give or take. And then what we did is we also set it here because it's not truly a straight line right here. And it's it's only a few degrees. I mean, here it's two degrees and up here and it starts going up. So we're gonna subtract a couple degrees uh, out of this just so that we have that um, figured in there. But this is about 45 degrees here that we need to bend it up. So we're gonna start by heating and bending and getting this up and then we can try and get around the corner next. So. Uh, let's fire up the flame wrench.
almost started himself on fire. This hoodie is now a permanent uh, work <laughs> hoodie. It stinks like burnt polyester. Yeah, I forgot that Mike needed a buddy when there was a flame involved. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just very, I'm very happy that it wasn't my face and it was more my sweatshirt. But accidents happen. Thankfully, we were uh, no one really got hurt. So, but yeah. this looks quite beautiful and yeah. uh, strong, semi-solid. There's still clamps in place, but it's better than it was. Yeah, it was a little bit of a challenge to make this all out of one piece. It took uh, it took a little bit of going back and forth. With the, uh, with the torch to heat and tweak it, but uh, it actually came out, I think, pretty decent um, for using one piece and doing all these different bends. It wraps around, it's a nice little hoop here that's going to strengthen the body, um, and uh, it's going to be a good starting point for this back section to get going in place. So um, now that we got this all bent, I think the next thing we got to do, you know, to finish this is just make some tabs. So there's a bunch of holes around the top of this um, body here where there was wood that was nailed in and was was bolted into these supports. So what I'm going to do is weld, uh, make some little tabs here that we can make, and I'm going to weld tabs onto this that are going to go into every other one of these holes. That will pull everything tight, uh, keep it together, and then we're also going to make a little plate for the ends here that's going to uh, allow this to bolt into the B pillars that we already made. So. Uh, just a little bit of bracketry, which shouldn't take too long, and then we should have this piece bolted in and we'll be done. So, uh, yeah, we'll get moving on that. Here, cross pieces, and then uh, bend up the sheet metal uh, seat seat brace, if you will, area, uh, and get all that done. So that'll be huge because this back area will be all nice and solid. So uh, that's all we got for this week. Thanks, guys, for following along. As always, put a video out every week, and uh, make sure you share and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.